today I'm going to be testing this uh, 10 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter from banggood.com. Uh, this is how I'm going to be testing it. As you can see, there's cam mini camera there. The uh, transmitter is here, which is attached to a piece of prototyping board. And then there's the clover leaf antenna, and I will be testing it on a um, far, no, so we have 750 uh, milliamp hour one cell lipo. Um, I've, so far, I've found these transmitters to be uh, pretty good, but I want to try to find out what um, the range is of it uh, with the clover leaf antenna. I will be able to find out what the range is, and I will be using my. Um, FPV ground station and what I will do is is I will attach this to um, a pole and then with the ground station I uh, walk away from it until the reception there's no more reception no more picture so yeah that's what we're going to be doing anyway okay so I'll be setting it up next anyway I'll put a link in the description to this okay Right, okay, so I'm going to use um, my tablet which has got um, GPS on it and um, I'm going to use my tracks to record how far I walk. Hopefully, this is going to work. I've got a GPS signal anyway. Uh, the camera is sitting up here. I've got a feed down here on the screen, you probably can't see it, but I can assure you I have. And now I'm going to start recording the track now and start walking see how far I get got a good signal anyway if the signal breaks up I may have to turn round because at the moment the uh, probably going through me so I'm probably blocking the signal yeah, it's still got a good signal must be about a hundred feet away probably still got a good signal Must be probably about 170 feet, I would approximate. Signal's still good. Way over 200 feet now, anyway. I hope I haven't got to walk too far. It's hard walking on this uh, stubble. So I've just cut the fields. Still got a very good signal. We're that far away now. Must be 300 feet easily. Not more. But I'll be able to find out properly when I get back and check the GPS. Yeah, no break up in the uh, video signal, still doing really well. Quite a way now. Alright, okay, so the 10 milliwatt transmitter has just broken up. Let's see if I'm... So I'm going to walk back. Yep, now we're okay. So we're that far away. I'm 
we've got a reasonable signal. There's a bit of um, static. Yeah, perfect now. So that's how far the 10 milliwatt transmitter will go. I think we're probably at least 350 feet away, if not more. But I'll have to find out uh, when I check the GPS data. Okay, so I'm back for the camera now anyway. Right, so I got 214 metres in total. But I had to walk back about 14 metres, so it's 200 metres distance for this 10 milliwatt transmitter. But anyway, we're definitely getting 200 metres um, on the ground. So in the air, I mean, I've been across there to the corner where there's a road and uh, I'm not sure now, but I think it was uh, 400 metres across to there. I can't remember now, but that was in, in the air and I was getting... I'll have to check it and then I'll uh, let you know. Okay, so I've um, collected all my data together and uh, the distance we was getting on foot on the ground is 200 metres or uh, 656 feet. So that's not too bad really. Um, on the quadcopter I got approximately uh, 350 metres or 1,148 feet um, yep, in the air. So, and that's direct line of sight for both of them as well. Uh, that doesn't count if, say, you go around the back of a tree, then you're probably going to get a drop out. But yeah, that's not too bad really for a 10 milliwatt transmitter. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, please comment, and I'll put a link in the description, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much, bye.